look at it. It was my favorite little area rug. And and now it's ruined. It's it's it was so perfect just on the floor right outside the door. And now it's completely wasted. Wait a minute. It's <laughs> look! It's it's just like a little capelet. How do you like it? I've been wearing it this way for years. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. One day I was running along down the passageway and all of a sudden I tripped on this with my heel of my foot. And now look, it's been my little and end of winter and beginning of spring cloak and end of summer and beginning of autumn cloak <laughs> for so long. But all it is is a rug. And you know what kind of rug it is? It's called a spool knitted rug. If you look closely, you can see it's a kind of knitting. You see? And it's the kind of knitting that people do to use up all their old yarns. And when I was a little girl, that's what we did. We used to do spool knitting. <laughs> what you do, I'm gonna put on my knees <laughs> so I can talk to you better. <laughs> I think the turkeys are coming in. <laughs> okay, so um, when we were little, we used to take leftover spools from thread, you know, um, usually the bigger type, and then we would put, um, oh my goodness, the chickens have come in. <laughs> Let me show you. They're everywhere. <laughs> and the rooster's coming in. When, when we were children, we used to do spool knitting. We would get the end of the spools after all the thread was used on them, usually the bigger spools, and we put four little U-nails around the top edge of the spool. You know, like a little staple nail. They're used for holding cables down. And um, then we'd use a crochet hook. We would then crochet over the little u-nails there was a space in the middle where you could actually tuck your little crochet hook in and flip the piece of yarn over the top of the other yarn and keep going and going and going around and around and around and then pull it down from the bottom through the hole you would be pulling the the the, uh, the, the knitted section you see and until you had a long long piece I never was able to do such big piece as this. This is incredible. This must have taken whoever did it many, many years to do. I only ever got enough length to make little um, tamashenters for my dolls. That's the best I ever got to. I think I might have made one for myself once, a little cap for myself, but nothing quite so amazing as this beautiful rug. But now the rug is actually seen by more people and appreciated more than it ever was when it was on me, I mean, when it was on the floor. So I just thought I would explain it to you because people, every time they see it, they always ask, how did you, where, what is that beautiful thing? You can wear it with a skirt, or you can wear it with trousers. You can just wear it with anything. You can be dressed up, or you can be just in your cozy clothes to doing homework. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little cloak. I hope you didn't mind seeing the chickens too. Oh, and even though this is a short video, if you like it, just hit the little thumb up symbol. You know, it's like, like that. It looks just like that, <laughs> I think. And then also you can hit the subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And you can hit the little bell so that you get a little signal whenever a new video comes up. And then you can also share it. <laughs> and sometimes this will probably be a short video, so people like to have short videos that you can share it with your friends. So long.